in this video we'll be talking about extended euclidean algorithm so before we go to extended euclidean algorithm let me recall what is the euclidean algorithm euclidean algorithm work as follows we need to find the gcd of two numbers a and b or two integers where a is strictly greater than b and for that i divide this number a by b so assuming that the first remainder is not equal to 0 if the remainder is equal to 0 then from the first step itself we can say that the gcd of a and b is equal to b and here I may assume that R1, this is equal to 0. So if this is not holding, if R1 is not equal to 0, it is some positive value. So in that case, we move to second step. We divide B by R1 and we leave a remainder R2. Again, if here this R2 is equal to 0, so that means if I include a 0 inequality here, that means the GCD of A and B, this is equal to R1. If r2 value is equal to 0 in the second step if not then we progress again to the next step and we continue doing in this manner unless until the last remainder is equal to 0 and we know the last divisor so from here we can see from the last step gcd of a and b this is equal to rn so this is for finding the gcd of two integers now let's take an example in this example i want to find the gcd of 1547 and 560 and you can see that 1547 is a larger number so keep this on the left and divide this number by 560 so this will come out twice of 560 plus the remainder is 427 and now we see that as the remainder is not zero we are going to again carry on the operation so this is 560 multi uh, will be 1 times 427 plus 133 and then 427 will be divided by 133 so this will be 3 times 133 plus 28 and then 133 that is equal to 4 into 28 plus the remainder which is 21 and now this gives me 21 is equal to 1 into 21 plus 7 and now I see that when I did divide this 21 by 7, the remainder is 0. So 21 is 3 times 7 plus 0. So since the last remainder is now 0, that is where I have to stop the Euclidean algorithm. And from the last divisor, or you can say the previous remainder, we know that the GCD of 1547 and 560 this is equal to 7 and now we can see the extended euclidean algorithm that says that let d is a gcd of two numbers a and b and we have selected a is greater than b then there exist integers u and v such that d can be written as linear combination of a and b or simply we can say gcd of two numbers can be written as linear combination of the number with integer coefficient now from the previous example we have just verified that the gcd of 1 5 4 7 and 5 60 this is equal to 7 and now i want to trace back these steps to find the u and v and now for that i'm going to follow back the steps of this euclidean algorithm that i've just did and now let's pick up the last remainder so here we can see that 7 can be written as 28 minus 1 into 21 so replace the last remainder and in the this expression to find the value for u and v so we see that 28 minus 1 into the last remainder in the previous step is 21 so for 21 i must write 133 minus 4 into 28 and for this club these 28 expressions so it is 1 into 28 and here it is minus 4 into 28 so which is minus 1 into minus 1 that will become 5 into 28 minus 1 into 133 so now i need to replace this last remainder 28 here so this will become 5 into 427 minus 3 into 133 minus 1 into 133 and now i want to replace this value for 133 so that means i'm going to club these two 133s so this will become 5 into 427 minus 16 into 133 so now replacing this value of 133 from this uh, expression that i've written here so this will become 5 into 427 minus 16 into 560 minus 1 into 427 so this will give me the value again i want to replace the previous remainder that is this 427 so this means now i'm going to club these two terms so this means this is going to give me the value as 21 into 427 minus 16 into 560 and then i'm going to replace this last value that is 427 so this will give me uh 21 into 1547 minus 
twice of 560. So, minus 16 into 560. Now, you see that we got the two integers that we have started. We got 5, uh, 1547 and 560 in this uh, in this expression. So, this will give me 21 times 1547 minus 58 times 560. So, I have clubbed now these two 560 and kept their coefficients as the integral multiple. Now, this is the value for u and minus 58 is the value for v. So, we want to have an expression u times 1547 plus v times 560. So, that means for u, this is value 21 and for v, this is minus 58. So, now substituting back the remainder, we can apply the extended Euclidean algorithm and we can find this expression that this is GCD and this is a linear combination. So, we know whenever you have two integers a and b and if you find their linear combination that is equal to d which is the GCD of a and b. So, we can find out the value for u and v. And now I am going to take another alternate way to apply the extended Euclidean algorithms for finding these integers uh, u and v that I have discussed earlier. And for this let me to consider an example again. And here I want to find the GCD of 456 and 123 using the Euclidean algorithm. So, that process is same. So, let us write 456. This is equal to thrice of 123 plus 87. And I am going to now divide 80, 123 by 87. So, this is 1 into 87 plus 36. And then I write 87 that is equal to twice of 36 plus 15. And then I take 36 equal to uh, twice of 15 that is 30 plus 6 36. And then we got 15 which is uh, 2 times 6 plus 3. And so 6 is equal to 2 into 3 plus 0. So we see that the GCD of 456 and 1, uh, 123 this is equal to 3. So that is the expression that we got as a last remainder. Now we want to apply extended Euclidean algorithm and for that what I will do is I will rewrite uh, these remainders from this expression. So if you write remainders so this is 87 that is 456 minus 3 into 123. From here I can write remainder 36 that is 123 minus 1 into 87. This remainder this is 15 which is equal to 87 minus twice of 36. This remainder that is uh, 6 which is equal to 36 minus twice of 15. From here the last remainder 3 that is 15 minus 2 into 6. So now write first trivial linear combinations from the given numbers and remembering that what you need to find out we need to find 456 times x plus 123 times y should be equal to 3. So I desire to know what is this x and what is this y. So to find this x and y now what we do is we write initial linear combination from the given number. So given number is 456. And for this, the first uh, possibility for the linear combination, the trivial linear combination is that I write this number as 1 and another number as y. So, this will give me 456 which is 1 into 456 plus 0 into uh, the another number that is 123. And if I want to write 123, this is 0 and 1. So, these are two initial trivial combinations. So, let us start from this. So, once we start from this, now look at this case. Now look at this first row 87. To get this 87 and write 87 here and let me to first write all the remainders here. So now to get this 87 from these two rows what I need is let's see this 87 this is 1 into 456 minus 3 into 123. This means it is 1 into the first row minus 3 into the second row. So, let us keep this as first row and keep this as the second row. So, this is minus 3 times. So, that means I write here these number as 1 minus 3. 1 minus 3 times this number that is 1 and 0 uh, 1 into the first row that will become 0 minus 3 into this row. So, this number will get me as minus of 3. So, now I have first, second and third row. Keep on using these integers to find the x number 36. For 36, we can see from this case, this is 123 minus 1 into 87. So, that means 123 is in the second row. So, that is second row minus the third row. So, this is simply the third row, 1 into 87. So, 
I get number here as 36 which is minus 1 and this is 1 minus of minus this number that is in the third row. So this will become 4. So for 15 we can now see this will be uh, 87 minus 36. 87 is in the third row. So let's now write here uh, the rows. So this is first row, second row, third row, fourth row, fifth, sixth and that's the last row. So you can label it as the 7. And for 15, I'll be requiring 87 and 36, the immediate previous two. And in this case, this will become third row minus twice the fourth row. So third row, which is this one and fourth row, it is this one. So third row minus twice the fourth row, I'll get 3 minus 11. And now continuing in the next case for this remainder 6, what I will do is I will simply write fourth row minus twice the fifth row. And this should give me minus 7 and 26. For the last case, I have now the immediate previous row, fifth row, minus twice the sixth row. So how much we need to multiply that we can see uh, from this case, as you can see from here. So this, so we fix this command, the row operation, and we get 17 minus 63. So now from here, this last expression, we can see that 3, which is the GCD, is 17 minus 63 so these are the two number that we desire to have here so this is 456 times this is the x row and this is the y row so times 17 plus 123 minus 63 is the value for 3 so from here also we can trace this value for x and y for which this relation hold true